Hello, dear traders. Let us review the major economic events of the last week. The US dollar index and US stocks rose last week, with stocks still trading in a range. The August jobs report came out last Friday. The 151,000 rise in non farm payrolls was solid after surprisingly strong 271 and 275,000 grains in June and July. The growth in average hourly earnings slowed over month from 0.3 to 0.1% in August, with the year-on-year -year rate of 2.4%, which is down from 2.7% in July. While the three-month average of non-farm payrolls at 232,000 is above the 200,000 average in recent months, the slowing in jobs growth and earnings while core inflation remained unchanged at 1.6%, below the Fed's 2% target as measured by Personal Consumption Expenditure Core Index, doesn't provide strong justification for a, for a rate hike at Fed's September policy meeting. Stock indexes rose after the jobs report, with dollar also ending higher. The week started with a gain in stock market index on Monday, as banking stocks rose on expectations of higher interest rates. U.S. stocks retreated on Tuesday on hawkish Fed comments after Federal Reserve Vice Chairman Stanley Fisher said on Tuesday that it is impossible to say whether the next interest rate increase would be one and done, reinforcing his Sunday comment that Yellen's Friday speech was consistent with possibly two rate increases this year. A jump in Consumer Confidence Index for August to 101.1 from 97 also supported increased likelihood of rate hikes. The dollar index rose. On Wednesday, higher than expected rise in private sector employment, reported by the ADP independent agency, supported the case for a rate hike this year. US stocks edged lower. The stock market retreated also on Thursday, with investor confidence undermined by the fall in US factory activity in August for the first time in six months because of lower new orders and production. This week, the major economic events are the interest rate decisions by three central banks. The Reserve Bank of Australia left interest rates unchanged today. The Bank of Canada meets on Wednesday and the European Central Bank on Thursday. No changes in policy are expected. This was all for the week. Happy trading and see you next week.